the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes! Well, they haven't dropped it yet! That's good, right? And we're through! On to the turntable! in the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? We started by finding a control. Hey, it's one. Perfect. Ready when you are. <laughs> to do, Delta. Delta, by the left. Zion. Train turned around. I'm taking this.
Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now can you access the controls? Pointed toward the hangar. Beautiful. All that's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Trains a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skip. Delta, put him down! We got 
training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? The secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Well, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. 
Glad you could work my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Takes in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. <laughs> Guys, what if Jack, we said Jack through that see vent? See if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facility's activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the same. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red Condor out there. Yo, Bear! You lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. I can't believe Baird seemed to be a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, when you put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock, Civil War, and the weather, it crawled in anywhere. Yeah, this will work. Shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? All right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what?
Jack, activate that crane. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. Jack, Crane. Mm -hmm. Let's hope this one holds. All right, Jack, let's do it again. Get in there, Jack. That's the ticket. Come on, we can get out this way. At least a few DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. Look out! Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead! Beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Shit. Rejects are in here, too.
good. Let's try the other one. Guys, look. The beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do. Can't believe that knackered thing still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls in the base.
Watch up! It's speeding up! I don't think we have room for them all on the stiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. Jack, need some light in here. Well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta? Sending folks out here. We should probably clear out the rest of the swarm. He's lost a lot of Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much using a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me. You're covered. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Our way out's on the other side! We got swarmed, people! Get right behind those sandblast things! They're cold! I'm broken right! Yeah, tomato, tomato!
side. It's not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Boss, Del. Why don't you get the other side? Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? I'm pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporal with compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. Saying the engine was so... Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the cog border? That's gory technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So our paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transit of property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr trans of transitive what? Books, Boz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. say they're doing here? Trying to get their water supply back online. I think we just discovered the problem! Swarm! So let's get in there and clean them out! Work. Someone's in there. Lord, 
Gucci. Thanur Duck Melon. All right, come on. Out. There's no one in here. Oh, cute trick. Guess that's how you survive. Namira. Go get Koi. How can Posse Dordini up some I'm not really hearing gratitude here. All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. Paddock, we just saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right, if we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. Meeting that engineer was sort of like experiencing the entire tragedy of Asgar in five minutes. Tell me about it. Although she did remind me of my mum. Why you turned out the way you did suddenly makes so much more sense. I've noticed something, that the swarms seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to... To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Anfield's just ahead! that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Bear's going back to the with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Did you crash at basic training? Oh, I had a slight mishap. Yeah. Otherwise known as a crash. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Hey, Baird, can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Ophira. Yeah, right, of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Solid. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baron, got it so good to get out here. Swarm coming in. Short version, it stops bullets. Now get out there and use it. Delta, come on. Someone use the goddamn area.
Up ahead. Shit. That's yeah, a convoy, all right. All right. Let's get in there and see what we can do. Look! They're still fighting. We've got to help them. Another one of 
those bloody things! Check on the beacons. Well, they don't look damaged. It's it's in the dark. The horror part. It can do it, Eki. It can do it, Eki. Haddock, mate. You hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry. They'll be well armed. So go, deal with your rocket. All right, Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. I swear, if we have to save these nomad skins one more time. Hey, give them a break. They've been fighting out here alone for months. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird, safe travels. You too, and good luck. Together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's Nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we own something for them. Sure. If we don't get our rocket launch soon, it's not just Paddock's Nomads we'll be worrying about. I'll drive. I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10 would do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites are towers? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. I'm beginning to understand why he never lost his rocket. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. This 
Better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! Let's fix that nose cone before any more show up. Jack, get this thing aligned. All right, we're back in business. Then climb aboard the rocket. You can ride it straight to the launch pad.
but I'd remind you, I'm hanging from the back of a fucking train. Oh, oh, right, right. Ugh. 